right, so we're going to take this part for Doug Hanchard. This is the part for the toe adjustment. 5 8 18 National Fine Thread. And we've got a left hand and a right hand. And what we're going to focus on today is doing a left hand, although I'll do the turning and everything for this. So typically, whenever you do a left hand thread, it's best to have a tool, a left handed tool for doing left handed threads. Now that's not always the case, and we, a lot of times, I, I see people don't use a left handed tool, but so I've got a left handed threading tool here that I use when I can. There's times where you're over here on a lathe and it's hard to get this tool into a shoulder to do your left handed threads. In this case, this tool will work. The insert will reach in there before it hits the actual tool holder there. But there's times where this is difficult to use because you can't get up here close to the chuck or you got a big shoulder there that you can't get in and you have to use other tools. This is also a good time where you could use a hand ground tool bit, just a piece of high speed steel or, or carbide, whatever, and form it to where you can get in there like you want to. I'm gonna make the undercut here a little bit wider so that I have more room to uh, throw the half nuts, okay? So that's what we're gonna focus on today. And we're gonna use this piece of 4130 that a viewer had given me, and we'll try that out. I preset my jaws to an uh, inch and a half, that's what this is. And we're just going to build one of these and I'm going to stick this out enough so that I can turn it all. The, the flats on this, I forgot to grab my calipers, is, is one inch. So we're going to turn it about an inch, maybe uh, five thousandths under that. And we'll turn it enough here so that I can... Um, cut this end off and then we'll be able to flip it around and do the other side so that looks like that looks like uh, enough material right there and so let me go we'll put the filter on and I'll bring you right back We got about a hundred and ten thou run out. So this would be the second job for the new chuck here. All right. Got the, the OD isn't perfectly round, you can see there. So we got it centered. Got about a thousandths off on trueness, so that'll work right there. Now I need to set up my tools and we'll be ready to roll. Alright, we're going to start doing some turning here. I've got me a zero set on my dial indicator. Trying out this new live center for the first time that we just recently got. That's a 200 thousandths cut right there. That coolant's starting to look a little spent, a little bit old, so I went ahead and just mixed up another five gallon bucket and poured it in there and let it run a little bit so it's looking better now. Take another 200 off. 
That'll leave us with about a hundred thousandths to bring it down for the uh, the center section anyway. Just working on our finished pass here for our five eighths diameter. Taking it down to uh, 0.620. I'm going to use that parting blade there with the radius to uh, make our undercut, our thread relief there. We'll just touch off on the diameter and I'll just go in about 75 thousandths. Your uh, double depth for an 18 pitch is, uh, I believe it's like 72 thousandths. We'll just kind of round it off 75. do is go about trying to get rid of those chips there maybe about half the width of the blade there and we'll go right back in to the 75 depth and I'll just blend it all together to you about being able to use my left-handed tool I uh, didn't take consideration the one inch diameter so if you if you line this up out there on the corners it looks like it'll probably just cut it it might clear it I don't know but I don't want to take a chance see I can come in here with it like this and it feels like it's touching the tool right here so I'm not going to use this one after all I'm, I'm gonna end up using this top notch right here. We'll use this this one and get in there and just use this one right here. So we need to get the lathe set up. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. So to properly do it, we need to change our compound. Where we got set up, we're feeding in to do right hand threads. So we're gonna be doing left hand threads. We're gonna be cutting this way. We need to feed our compound that direction. I don't like to, to cut threads with just straight end feed on your dial. That's not the way I was taught. For, for very small or fine threads, it's okay. And occasionally I'll feed this in a little bit further if I'm trying to clean up both sides of a thread. But I like to just feed in with the compound on your 30 degrees to get your uh, depth. So these Monarchs were built they were built right. They're not like these newer machines where the stuff is stamped on there and it's wrong. These things right here are very accurate. So I'm going to line this up. Let me see here. I gotta, I'm going to have to count it. 10, 20, 30. Just going a, a half a degree off the line right there. <clears throat> okay, now I'll have to square up my uh, tool post as well. I like to drop my tool in there, run an indicator across it to make sure that it's square, perpendicular to your uh, axis of the lathe here. That's just how quick you can do it right there. Doesn't take long. I'm 
this topic right here come up not long ago on the on the Facebook page. Somebody had had asked about their uh, lathe. I forget what his name was, and it was doing this. You know, get a couple turns out of it, and it would stop. On these monarchs, you have what's called a thread stop right there. That's this little guy right here. This is the little rod that you drop in there. On the pacemaker, it's built a little bit differently. Here, there's a <clears throat> on this part here. There's a set screw that you go in there and tighten. There's this uh, there's this other piece that spins in there. You tighten it up, and it does the same thing. It gives you a, a couple turns, and you come in. It gives you a solid stop every time. So you come back to the same place. So that's how I like threading. Uh, the only time you can't really do this is whenever you're having to line up an existing thread. You, you can't bring this in there like that and expect it to line up, so you have to disengage it and line your tool up. So we got everything set to zero. Now we just need to touch off and we'll start threading. All right, we're getting the, getting the lathe set up to do our left-handed threading. We're gonna use a feature on this machine that I've never shown before. And it has to do with the automatic lead screw reverse. On this Monarch, the model CY, this is a 16 CY, you have this lever here. That is the lead screw reverse lever. And this also is what changes your feed direction on your cross slide and your carriage travel. We're gonna go ahead and throw it up and I'm gonna give you an example. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on of how this works. Trying to give you a good shot here. All right, we've got this up, and this is going to feed this way. It's going to feed to to the right, from left to right. Boom! Stop. I've got it set to stop there at the end. So you um, back it out. We come over here. Push it down. It stopped right there in my undercut. So you would bring your tool back in to your zero. End feed, the amount that you want to end feed. I don't have it set in yet. I haven't even touched off. And then we're going to throw this one back up. Automatic stop. Right there where it needs to go. So that's how the lead screw reverse lever actually works. You're able to run that thing back and forth. Now, and you don't have to use it, these stops. This is the stop here, and you got another stop right here. You can actually do this manually, you know, whenever you're threading. You can thread it and move it back and forth. And you never have to disengage the half nuts right there. So I think that's the feature I want to use this time. So I'll set up the other camera and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, I'm going to have to feed it in a little bit to... Um, that's what I mean like that. We're going to go in here and we're going to... We're going to touch off. I'm just setting it to zero. It's really weird not <laughs> stopping that thing by hand. So we'll go ahead and um, I'm going to feed it in five thousandths and we'll check our. Uh, I'm already messing up. Okay, cross slide in. We'll let it go ahead and make a scratch pass and stop. Okay. Got our pitch gauge here. All right, we're cutting 18. So back the tool out. We'll go ahead and turn the lathe back on. Throw the lever down. 
I'm going to go ahead and put a little oil up here while we're waiting on it. And it should come down and automatically stop for me. Boom. All right, we'll go ahead and feed it in 20. While that's going down, I'm going to feed it at another 20 thousandths on the compound. Go in. Just that easy. Let me see if I can get you a little better shot of the, the operator action here. Alright, maybe you guys can see something there. We're backed out. We'll go ahead and turn the lathe on. And throw that one down. show you guys something else. So here's my little cheat sheet that I made a long time ago and what it does is it tells me the depth to feed the compound there when cutting 30 degree threads with the compound set at 30 degrees. So 18, we're cutting an 18 pitch so that's saying that it's going to be 0.0417 is your depth on your compound set at 30 degrees. So basically, let's say 42 thousandths. Now, if you don't have that cheat sheet, you can you can do this: 0.75 divided by 18. That's your pitch. Equals 0.041, basically 42 thousandths. So just remember that one. 0.75 divided by whatever your pitch is divided by 18 equals and that should be about your depth on your compound whenever you're feeding in for whatever pitch you're cutting now I got these things down to where they should be cut to size I filed the top of the thread off just lightly That feels about right too. Well, I think that's going to work right there. moving any of the birds that might still be left on here out there on the corners all right so left side's done that's basically all i wanted to highlight for this video here is uh just doing some left-handed threads